Nice Mississippi point. That's the bottom corner. Would have came up like this, it would have been a bigger one. But it's all exploded apart. First beach I got out on. Um, I'm just surface hunting, so go someplace else later. But anyway, that's the first find. And it happened within seconds of looking later. And like a, a nice little flake of Flint Ridge. There's potential here. See, there ain't a bad wash. The water's up a little bit. You can see there's stuff in the water I can't look at. It's all muddy. It's the weekend. We big traffic everywhere. Later. See these lines here and these chewed up pieces of this stuff? That's a beaver dragging that down. I saw his tracks back here. You can kind of see remnant trait here, but boot waves. There's bass worms and stuff on the weekend. And see, there's flakes everywhere here. Not well, not everywhere, but I got a pocket full. See, here's another one right here. The boot waves have went up over this. There could be a point anywhere right in there is where I found that last name was point laying out. Look at that. There's a flake right there by it. Could be anything. I should sift here, but it, you can go for hours and just find flint that's been hammered. Just didn't feel like it in the morning. I try to come out here and walk these places and get woke up. I'll probably get some place here in just a little bit. Look this real good and see if I see anything. See, there's evidence everywhere. Right there's another little tiny flake. I'll get back later. Alright, I got something right here, but it looks break. Hey, yep. Oh man, that would have been nice. And translucent. It's a tip off one. Well, anyway, I'll get back if I see anything else. I'm looking around real good. Later. See, these plastic things come out of dumps that are on the river. And this is old. I find these in the dumps and look, it says Plymouth and it's perfect. I find Mark's toys. Just all kinds of stuff right in this line of stuff laying there I'll take that that's a nice one find these vintage plastic things because they never disintegrate that's cool look here nice flake of black right in this stuff well, anyway later folks this is the last beach I'm gonna walk and right here is something oh folks it's a point oh oh folks oh my Oh, folks. Oh, it's an Amos. Oh, folks. Jewel grade material. Jewel grade material. Paper. Oh, jeez. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You can listen to that boat behind me. It would have just... Oh, thanks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This. Oh. Folks, look at this. And that is not Flint Ridge. That's that agate, that pebble agate. And that's not broke either. It's worked that way. Look at this. Oh, folks. Oh, man. No way. I mean, I wasn't even going to pull in here because I haven't found nothing. You can see the rock and I saw it from a boot. And all this stuff's piled in here. Oh, no. I did it. And that's a smoker. That's a smoking stone made out of that material. Um, I'll give you a translucency show here. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. Look at that stuff. Look at that thinness. Oh, man. Love it. Yeah, you know, this is a weak maker. I don't even care if I find nothing the rest of the day. Later, folks. All right, this stuff right here, this kind of tan looking stuff. This one's steamed up a little bit, but that's Brush Creek Church. Otherwise known as Crooksville. You can see it there. That's another Ohio Flint that I find. Some of it's real nice too. Um, some robins just hatched. These are robin eggs. You see them here. 
It's just a fresh one. Look at these washouts. I cannot believe that point. God, God, that's nice. It's just thin and materials everything. You're finding points made out of like all one material. See, there's another little flake of Crooksville right there. I missed. Little tiny finishing flake, and that's definitely Crooksville. You're finding points made out of all one material. You need to move around until you're into stuff like that because it's all over the river. Um, that they use river pebble wagons and all of this beautiful stuff that's not really new. You won't see it in any Ohio books. Um, a lot of authenticators would call that Flint Ridge, but it is not 100% on that. I am because I find the river pebbles and break them over. Man, that's a beautiful point. Wow. Well, anyway, later. All right, I'm up in the dump. You can see the first day I dug right in here. Find that token right in the corner there, and then right there is where the buttons were at. So I'd say there's buttons all through here. There's buttons all over this hill. But as you can see, it's kind of, I don't know if you can tell, it's dark. It's going to rain on me. But I got my lucky Midrahead t-shirt with me today, so we're going to go for the glory dig into the rain as long as I can if it starts and I think it is but see what I can get here today for a future video all of these buttons I find find now from now on or just the overall picture for a bigger frame of them so it's what we're shooting for and whatever else we can find is cool later all right look at this Rick just sat down here and I found a nice seven up bottle it's ACL but it's on the side of this hill it's real nice rusted to metal and man, this is a real old marble. Let me spit on it here. It's some kind of old handmade. Look at it. It's got stripes all through it. I think it's made of stone. I'll have to put this up here. I'll have to get something to put this stuff in. But I'll, I'll just set this up here on a rock for now. I'll put it in. Because I figure I'll find some buttons. I'm going to put that right there. Come down here and I will show you. I was just going up there to get my tools. Got into some roots here. That, see, this is on a hill here. But you can dig on the top of the lip and push all this stuff down. And it won't mess up your digging. But I just got this. That's a nice ACL for coming out of the ground. This Columbus, Ohio. I might take that to trade or something. I don't really want that. We'll see. I'm going to look around. I'm right below where I found the buttons. I'm going to kind of look around where I found the stuff. I should be saving these two. These snail shells are everywhere. Real old ones out of the dirt. But I can't save everything. But I'm going to look in here and try to get on the buttons coming up into them. So I'm not throwing dirt over them. Because I think they're pretty important as many as I found. Later. This is going to work. Found them buttons right in there, right on the other side of that 7-Up I threw up there, right in that hole. Come down here and started moving in it from this way. I'm trying to throw all the stuff way over the hill and just raked out probably the nicest bone one that I have. This is bone for sure. Oh, it's nice. It's perfect. Be a nice one for the frame. Check that out. Bone, handmade, hand-cut bone button. And you know, most places you'd find these, the clothes would be gone and this would be disintegrated. But I'm on the lip of a hill, right there. I'm right in here. And it starts to go down to a flat, then another flat, then one more, and then a little one into a creek. And it's drained real good. You know, that's probably pre-1900. I'd say these date anywhere from like the Civil War up into the 20s, maybe. Maybe not even the 20s, but they're old. And that's worth saving. I like these bone ones the best. Look at that patina on it. It's just golden. Later. And I've found this one before, but it's not very common on the dump side dig. It says ball with a dropped L, number 10. And it's clear. We're taking it because I don't find that one much. Later. All right, there's one of them dropped L ball number 10 things again. That's the second one. I, don't, I think I've only probably found two or three of them since I've been dump digging. No, on YouTube anyway the last couple of years under two years I've been dump digging for a year found all of this stuff um, about this time last year I started a little bit before this one year of dump digging like 20 crocs a collection of marbles um, just tons of stuff get back and watch the videos later fix 
Great. See that layer up in there? It's not thick on this dump, but there's other places where it's thick, and I think there's old bottles. But I just got another button. I think this one might be plastic. But it's early plastic, look. And it's got designs on it. I'm just gonna start taking all of these out of here because as many as I've found, and it's hard to tell what was in the pockets of this. Maybe I'll luck out it and see a big wedding ring with a big honker of a rock in it or something. And I'll be honest with you, if I find that, I'm selling it. Buying me a new mo detector. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Equinox, I'm not sure, but uh, Mine Lab, but the Garrett detectors are pretty good too. Um, I watch a channel like the Hoover Boys, and that's what Aqua Chigger uses, and they seem to work. But I just think the Equinoxes were probably better, but I don't know. If anybody has an opinion on that, put it in the description. I'm gonna start metal detecting hard. Um, you know, if I do that on the river in the places that I know about, um, versus Arrowhead hunting videos, my metal detecting videos will be a thousand times better. Cause I'll find old silver coins every trip pretty much on most of the sites and just all kinds of real good stuff. It's everywhere. I have a chance of cannonballs and all kinds of stuff. And play I know where there's forts and just all kinds of stuff. Later. Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna start calling this place Button Mountain. You know, I started it raking in here and this isn't much raking, believe me. This is it right here. And the layer's only about that thick, but another button. Hmm. Can't tell what that's made out of, but it's an oldie. Um, it'll look nice. It's got like a crust on it. But we'll put that up in the thing, and you know, it's going to be as many buttons as I want to find, pretty much. Um, probably here for a while till I get it thinned down. It'll be like them marbles when I was back there on these sites, these other dumps where I was just bringing out handfuls of marbles, like pouches full of them a day. You get into a place where there's a lot of them, eventually you're, there's not gonna be a lot if you keep digging them. Um, it's the same thing with the arrowheads. When I tell you I can find as many points as I want per week, it's about the truth. And it has nothing to do with anything except time and experience doing this. I'm almost 50 years old. Um, you know, I'm pushing 50. And I've been doing this since I've been about five or six years old with my dad. And have never relented on looking and learning about the fields, the, the stuff I'm looking in. And it's the sifting. It's my techniques. It's looking for the fire rocks. If you listen to what I have to say, you're going to find stuff. I, I promise you. That's all I'm here for. I'm not looking for fame or recognition. No one will ever truly know who I am. Even the people that live around me, I don't pass out business cards or something. Only a few select friends know that I'm even doing YouTube. I've probably told less than 10 people, like my neighbors, a few friends that, I, that treasure hunt too. That's it. Most people have no idea who I am and that's the way I want it. Um, I just wanna find stuff and I wanna show you how and I wanna bring you along on the treasure hunting adventures. And hopefully I can get some real awesome bone buttons in here i've seen some that are just ridiculous in the past and found some that are ridiculous but i want to find them on video after i get this place dug out i'll get out some of the buttons i've found in the past mo detecting and all that later I'm moving around today right there's where i found all the buttons in my last upload where the frame of the whole buttons come from right in that hole and there was like two buttons in there from the other dump that i had cleaned up that one with the uh metal thing through it and there's a flower one so all of them except two i found yesterday i went over in here looked around then i started right here i'm trying to see where they went down the hill and i'm just throwing this stuff completely down on that flat down there but man i just got something awesome look at this folks some kind of old little medicine tin and it let me wipe it off it says John H. Woodbury Incorporated, Red Pepper, Distributor, Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, that's cool. Check it out. That's a keeper. All right. Love stuff like this. 
with them buttons think of that in the middle of a frame of buttons with the dump name written in like a white pen on the black of the Riker mount with a black background you see how that looks you can take average items and make them valuable how much you know how many people carry out one button some people do but a lot of people leave them lay you save them and do that you've got something worth 50 bucks at least and then if you have a youtube channel you can link the videos of all of them being found and it makes it even a little bit more valuable you need to document your stuff take my word for it later me a jar to carry my buttons in man i just raked it out under that log we can see that poison ivy there I probably have this crap all over me look at it down through there it's everywhere but oh well atlas strong shouldered mason sick of his Huh. 5058. Um, that's ah, busted. Didn't see that. We won't be taking that. Later. Well, I don't know if you see this. What do you think that is right there on the ground? Huh. I know what it is. That's a spur. I'm hoping it's a real one, but it could be a kid's. It's still, nonetheless, it's cool as crap and it's all there. Just raked it out up in here. Um, wow, that's rather cool. It's heavy metal. I'd say this is for a kid's cowboy set with a gun, but that's all gonna free up. It's on the side of this hill and it's heavy metal. But just the way that is, I would say that's off a of kid's but it might be a real one. Can't really tell. See if it says anything on it when I get home. But that's a spur, ladies and gentlemen. And that's worth the trip for a video. Look at that. It's got one little piece off here and that's it. And I can fix that. I can probably put a BB. Glue a BB to that. It's the same size as a BB. Glue a BB on that and after I get it cleaned up, paint it. But I can get this freed up or where it's going to move. That's cool. That's a cool find for a frame of stuff from a dump. Later fix. All right, right in there is where I found these buttons yesterday. I'm pulling some of this stuff, throwing it off the hill, and there's still buttons. I think there was a bag of clothes thrown away here because there's not a lot off of it. It's an early plastic one, and it's a real translucent purple plastic. You know, it's got to be old. I'll put it with it. And I like the band and shells ones better. Don't get me wrong. But I'll take this later. There's an old big window weight. That one's got a weird point on it. These hung in the inside of the walls of old houses as a counterbalance to put up windows. Um, they used weights like this on other stuff. They were hard to put up and down because some of them were big. And that's a counterweight from the wall. That's what that is. Solid iron. I should probably take that stuff. I find so much heavy iron, I could probably recycle it, but I don't have time for that crap. I'm cutting this bank with my shovel out so I can get back in here. I'm looking for more buttons. But I'm finding other stuff along the way. I got some keepers today, some cool stuff that'll look great cleaned up in a video. Let All right, do you see it? Raking right in here is where I found a button, so I knew there had to be some more. And man, it's hard going. Look at all these roots and rocks. And I got to pull all this stuff out of here. It might take me 45 minutes to go two foot in a place like this. Um, the buttons aren't a big priority, but it's the weekend and boat traffic just really messes up the sifting. And this is a shell one. I think I said in one of the previous clips, I like the bone and plastic ones the best. I meant shell. Um, see if I can see any of them ants. I just had one on me. There's huge ants in here. I mean, they're big red ones. I just flipped one off of me there. I don't know where he went. Huh. But I got a shell one for that collection. And it's got that cut ram on it. Um, and it's muscle shell. I'll have to get this cleaned up. But you can see some of the stuff I'm finding. Um, I don't film everything. I got a couple. That's an old fork. I think it has something up here. Here's a silver plate spoon. It's all corroded, but it's silver plate. And I got that spur, and I got some other buttons and stuff, but not bad. Later. Man, you can see I've been here 45 minutes cleaning this stuff off, and I didn't have a saw. I just got them hand cutters. I had to break that, kick it, and that took me a while. Then another one. It's a shell one, for sure. 
handmade show button. All right, got another one. Every one I find from now on is going in that frame. Got several today. Um, hopefully, I can get some marbles in here too. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna stay as long today. I also got a Mount Savage Stoke Stoker brick. Take that from my mom and dad at their house. Um, I haven't started doing them at my house yet because I'm doing this. I got lots of work to do. I'm behind on. I need to put new gutters on my house and all kinds of crap. But I'm made today. I got my yard looking pretty nice. Got to got to keep your stuff looking good or the best you can. My neighbors keep their houses pretty nice, and I got to get mine painted and all kinds of stuff. It really it needs painted. You know, it could use a coat on some places. I got to get on it later. How many, I don't know, if you watch my videos on a regular basis, I find these little ceramic babies all the time and the arms and legs are missing and it says something on the back here, Japan. I have 20 of these at the house. It's a little baby, it would have had movable arms on it and stuff. We'll take that. Kind of stuff's cool. Hopefully I can find one with the arms right in by it and the legs and I can put one together. That'd be, that'd be rather cool. But you can see I've only dug a little bit. I'm gonna have to cut I've been having to cut stuff out and uh, it's just been a mess today. I'm gonna get up and get bug spray because look at these. I don't know if you can see them mosquitoes. I even have bug spray on. I'm getting nailed. I got mosquito bites all over me. This is what I use. It works good, but it you sweat it off and I've sweated off today. That's the problem. Anyway, I'll get back with you folks on the next find. Later. All right, I got another marble or a bead. Couldn't tell when it rolled out. It's a bead. Look at that. I have several up there and, uh, and it's feels like, like porcelain or something. I got several tiny ones, real little ones. I save all that kind of stuff and string them up on strings. I have tons of old glass and ceramic beads from dumps, like butter containers full of them. I save all that kind of stuff for sure. They're old beads, they can be repurposed. Anyway, I can't stay as long today because my little dog's at the house and I didn't have nobody to watch him. My parents were doing stuff, or her. So, and I gotta go let Squirrel Master out and spend some time with my animals um, later. All right, you can see here, look at this. This is a heck of a layer. And it's right on the surface. If this is on the surface, I've been looking around for the past half hour just to get a place to come. When I come back up here, and this is it, um, there's a lot of stuff in the ground here. I gotta go because um, it's real overcast and I'm having trouble seeing in the holes. I'll miss buttons and stuff. Plus my dog's down there, so. Got that spur, got a few more buttons, cool buttons to go in the frame, and it was a plus. I'll probably airhead hunt tomorrow all day. Got a late start on it today, or otherwise I'd have been airhead hunting and doing this today. But I, you know, I have other stuff to do. But anyway, later. Ready to leave, and I thought, ah, why not do a few rakes in here? There's another beautiful Sistersville, West Virginia Coca Cola bottle, and I like these. I don't care what anybody says. I. I have so many of them. I know I have over a thousand of them at my house right now. But I'll take a thousand more later. I really like this spur the best find of the day. And I can even, probably what I'll do to fix this one little spur thing that's going on it right there is probably get a dab of lead. I have a lead melting machine. Get a little BB of lead, match it up to that, and then glue it on there after I restore it. I'll show you. I'll get it cleaned up and show it anyway, see if there's any markings on it. But I got a good one, two, like seven or eight buttons and some glass beads, and I got a marble. And I got another marble in here, but it's right here, but it's melted. You'll run into that. It's melted from the fire in the dump. And just some average stuff, but I'm happy to get them buttons. That'll be it for today. I gotta go let my little dog out.